Creating a website with Instant LP is very simple. All you do is open up the software, and when you view the intro screen, you click Next. You want to create a website from scratch, but it's smart to create an Instant LP project because this way you save it to a specialized file that you can import through the software in case you need to edit again. So if you're going to choose to create a new website, instead of choosing one where you do not save a file for future editing, choose to create a new Instant LP project. Once you're done, click Next to continue. To your left, you will have the option of selecting a template. You can choose from any templates that are available. I will choose the top one for this demonstration. This is a preview of what it would look like. I will click next to continue. I can add my title and the author name. Click next to continue. And here you're presented with the web editor. And if you've ever used MS Word, you have an idea of how to use it already. All you do is type your text. And format it any way you want. You can use bold, italics, or underline. You can also remove the formatting by clicking on the option once more. I'm going to keep it bold and I'm going to center it. Of course, if you want to move it to the left, or to the right, you can do that as well. But we're going to keep it in the center. You can also create links. Select the text you wish to hyperlink. Click on this hyperlink icon, and then type the web page you want to link to. Pretty simple. Of course, you can also create bulleted lists. You can number them or use standard bullets, and you can remove the formatting at any time. We're going to keep it. You can add images by clicking on the image icon and browse through your hard drive accordingly. You can also add alternate text for those who want to read a caption that describes the image or for those whose browsers cannot load an image for whatever reason or maybe they have a slow internet connection. You can provide them with information on the image and it would insert automatically to wherever you place it. It could be here, down here, or anywhere. You can insert it anywhere you wish. You can also create second and third pages as well. You will notice that this page is different from the home page. You can also change the font. Click on A icon for font. We will change it from Times New Roman to Verdana. I will also lower the size for the sentence and remove the bold formatting. So you have two different pages which will be a part of the same template that you chose. And as you can see, it's very simple. If you wish to create new pages, format, position, add bullets, add links, or add images. There's also one more thing you can do, and that's add HTML code. This is handy if you have an opt-in form, which comes from your autoresponder service, or if you have code that you want to use to promote an affiliate program. So I'm now going to show you an advanced demonstration shortly on how to add HTML code without having to program. Watch what I do carefully. I've gone behind the scenes to capture HTML code for this demonstration. This will include basically what looks like a landing page with a subscribe button. 
Let me show you. Creating a new page. And I'm going to click on this icon to the far right. I'm going to insert the HTML. And as you see, this loads right here. This is a more advanced demonstration. This could be something as simple as code generated from your autoresponder service, or as I mentioned before, an affiliate program that you've joined. Anytime there is generated HTML code that you wish to add to your page, all you do is click on this icon to the right, insert the code, and click insert. So now you know how to create multiple pages, add different styles to your text, Position your text. You can also indent to the right or push it back. You can create bulleted lists, hyperlink, add images, and change your fonts. You can also remove formatting at any time by clicking on this icon. So if you need to create a website, there's no better solution. You're not programming anything. You don't need to know HTML. Everything you need is in front of you. And when you're done, all you have to do is click Next. This will tell you where your folder will be, which will contain all of your files. You can choose a different destination by clicking Browse and searching through your computer. Maybe you wanted to enter the My Documents folder, or you can create one as well. You can even type an extra folder on top of this one and it will create it for you. Once you're ready to continue, click Build. Since this folder already exists, it's asking me if it wants to overwrite it. I have no problem with that, so I will choose OK. When you're new to this program and you start for the first time, you won't have to worry about that because the folder will be created for the first time for you. However, if you do not change the path, for an existing file, it will give you this warning so you can choose to overwrite it or not. That's just a safety measure for your convenience. I will choose OK. It is now being built for me, and I can now visit my website. When I'm ready to do that, I click Finish. For your reference, this is what I view when I'm previewing the website. So I see the home page, the about us page, and the landing test page. Remember the code I inserted? Well, there it is. So to create a website, it's that simple. 